life is fragile. Oh, such a big yawn. No one knows that more than parents when a baby makes an early entrance into the world. Hysteria. So he had some chest tubes when he was born. When they were immediately born, we were excited that they were living. 90 days, three long months. That's how long doctors and nurses cared for their babies at Methodist Women's Hospital. It was inside the neonatal intensive care unit where they treat more than 700 infants a year. Everything's unexpected. You're not expecting to have a premature baby and I think the stress of that um, in itself um, creates um, high intensity, high anxiety for each family. Angela and her husband Jamie welcomed twin boys too early. Good morning, baby Croy. At 27 weeks. The world was just going on around me, but my norm had definitely changed. Derek and Jennifer's son, John, he had complications. When you're in that situation, you have to make the best of it. And out of those dark days, now bright outcomes. The twins, smart, active toddlers. John, loving his big brother. Out of the window of crisis, these parents and so many others are now able to share their NICU experiences Buddy, can I kiss? to improve care. <laughs> So four times a year, they sit across from the doctors and nurses who treated them to offer advice and feedback. It is great to see people on the other side of that experience. They call it the NICU Parent Advisory Council. Fancy name with a simple purpose. Those are folks who've been here, we're now outside of their stressful time and they're able to sort of reflect back and give us uh, some real insight about what was scary to them, what made them feel better. It's advice and knowledge to help parents just now beginning their NICU journeys. You know my dad? Oh yeah. We just kind of come up with ideas to make it a more pleasant stay for the parents and make it kind of more organized for them. Even before the NICU, I want people to acknowledge that if you have a diagnosis early in pregnancy, you know, there are success stories. Success stories that start off as tiny, fragile bundles. You're good and hungry. And grow into thriving families. Yeah, look at that.